While you and me repeat this bittersweet heat is suffocating. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have an absolute gem of a product that I can't wait to share with you guys. So about two weeks ago, I went searching for a flat iron because ever since moving down here to Florida, my hair has been so out of control. Like I'll go outside and my hair will like poof and frizz like you wouldn't imagine. And I'm from Canada and it doesn't get this hot up there. So there's definitely been an adjustment period. And you can actually see right now that it's starting to frizz because I've got the window open and it's super, super hot. Like look at that, look at this. What is that, you know? So I've been looking for a flat iron so that I can finally tame my hair. And I went to Walmart and I found uh, this baby right here, which is the Remington S5500 Anti-Static Digital Ceramic 1 Inch Flat Iron. So this flat iron is really good because it has 1 inch long ceramic plates infused with anti-static technology. And most flat irons, they don't have like plates this long. It's usually like half an inch to an inch shorter. And so it says it has titanium protection for faster styling. It has long ceramic plates for less hair damage, 410 degree Fahrenheit digital salon high heat. And it also has 30 second heat up, an auto shut off after 60 minutes. And it also has a swivel cord, which is super handy when you're styling your hair. And it also says that it is the number one best selling hair straightener, which is actually why I bought it. I was like, mm, if I don't like it, I can always just return it. With many hair straighteners that I've used in the past, both high end and drugstore, my hair would get caught in like the little plates in between and tug my hair as I straighten it, which is super annoying. But this never does that. Also, as you can tell, I have super thick hair and when I use this hair straightener, my hair just looks so sleek and so soft and shiny. And it really does keep the frizz away. Like when I use this, I could go up to two days without styling my hair again. I'm pretty sure I could go more than two days, but after two days, I just, I have to shower. <laughs> two days is like my maximum. So now I'm gonna demo the hair straightener for you. I really don't do anything special. I just clip my hair up and then I straighten the hair as I let the strands down. But before we get into that, let me just do like a 360 so you can see the state of my head. Sorry, that was my cell phone. It is super, super puffy, like up here. And it's already starting to frizz because it's getting more humid in the room right now. So I've got my hair straightener ready and I'm just gonna turn it on. The minimum heat is 310, but I usually bump it up to 350. Um, I wouldn't recommend going any higher than 350 unless you really, really have really thick and coarse hair. But any higher than that and you are going to damage your hair. So I'm just gonna tie my hair up and then start straightening my hair. You should also use a heat protectant to protect your hair. The one I'm using isn't really that good, so when I find a good one, I will let you guys know. So I take a bunch that's about this thick, and the plates on this hair straightener are really quite long, so it can really accommodate quite a thick section. And then I just start straightening my hair like normal. <laughs> I go over it probably twice. And then yeah, done. <laughs> that part is done. I'm just gonna continue straightening my hair and I will talk to you guys when I'm almost done. I like to take the parts that I've already straightened and just throw it behind my shoulder so that I know not to go over it again. And then brush it out. And then start again. again. Another thing that I really like about this hair straightener is that when you clamp it down there's no space in between so your hair comes into full contact with the plate. So it does a really good job at straightening the hair. You can see that my hair is already so straight and it literally took me less than five minutes. It would have taken even shorter if I um, amped up the heat but I don't like to damage my hair so I usually keep it on the lowest setting or close to the lowest setting. In the past I've used um, a Chi, I've used a GVP, a Babyliss, um, 
and a bunch of other ones, both high-end and drugstore. And this one is just as good, if, if not better, than those ones. So this was only $19.96 at Walmart, and you really can't beat that price. I mean, who wants to spend hundreds of dollars on hair straightener when you can buy one that is just as good for cheaper, right? With my bangs, either I just straighten it regularly like this, or um, I put a little bit of a curl in it so that it sits nicely, and all I do is I take my curling iron and I kind of twist it halfway, and then drag it down. So it looks like that. Yes. Excellent. Then I do the same thing to the other side, just so it doesn't look completely, completely flat. There we go. And I'm done. Look how soft and silky my hair looks. So I don't really have anything bad to say about this hair straightener. If I had to pick something, it would be that it takes about 20 to 30 minutes for it to cool down, which is a pretty long time. But again, that's just if I have to find an imperfection. So if you've been looking for a hair straightener, but you really don't want to dish out like a hundred bucks for it because you'd rather spend that money in McDonald's like me and give this one a go because it is just as good if not better than all of the more expensive flat irons and for like under twenty dollars you really cannot go wrong with this and if you don't like it you can always you know return it and get a refund but yeah I'm, <laughs> I'm holding it because it's so hot and I'm still filming so I can't really put it anywhere but yeah, that's all I have to say about this hair straightener. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've used this before, or if you do get it, let me know how you like it. And don't forget to like, comment down below, subscribe to me if you haven't already, follow me on my other social media platforms, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!